John at the Organic Grow Channel. Uh, we've been planting the heck out of our vegetables and stuff, and uh, we're going to plant some squash today. Now, remember on your squash, you plant them about an inch deep. And on your green beans, you plant them about an inch, an inch, and three quarter. You know, they're deeper. Mostly on your peppers and, peppers and tomatoes, you're usually about a quarter inch deep. So, uh, we got our old squash seeds right here set up, you know. And we're going to do the same thing like we did with the solo cups. And if you didn't see my past videos, you know, we did these old solo cups. And what we did with them was we, you know, we wrote the name of it on there. And then we just burnt, you know, we just burnt our holes up in there, you know, to make it just like, look like, a, you know, we get the drainage and get the moisture going up in there so our, our microbes on the bottom can start working. And uh, so that's what we're going to do today. We're going to plant some... Uh, straight neck squash because uh it's a early it's an early plant so we're trying to get all our early stuff done and uh so uh i'll get back with you in, in just a minute all right everybody we're back again all right we already got our squash seeds laid out as you can tell here so we're going to do the same thing we always do you know we're going to come through here and pop one in everything and just like a you know like a seed where it comes off the plant make sure you got that kind of point down if you can it'll help it uh pop out a little quicker so we're going to put one in every pot i don't know how it is where you guys are but it's getting cold here we got some ice and sleet moving in. And, uh, did I drop two and one? Either that or I'm missing a seed. But, uh, yeah, it's getting really, really cold here. And, uh, yeah, I'm missing a seed, I think. So, let's go ahead and grab another seed out of here. Let me get my my bottle open here I thought I had 14 all right we're good to go now I must not have dropped one in there either I miscounted or oops I planted two but sometimes that happens and like I said if you accidentally get two in a hole once they get it you know about this tall take them out and just split them up different you know plant them in a different pot they'll still, they'll still go we'll do like we did on all the rest of them you know you just want to lightly cover them up don't pack them down that one there didn't look like deep enough I've been doing this so long I can almost do this by just sight. And uh in our you know, on down the line when it comes spring, you know, I get fishing fever real bad. So we do a lot of fishing. And uh I'm a noodler too, so we'll be shooting some videos on noodling and trot lining and jug lining. And crappie fishing and you know striper fishing or white bass fishing so you got the sand bass coming in you know and we're gonna catch some monster spoonbill this year probably we always do when we go snagging but we're gonna be showing all kinds of stuff in our ch you know, on this on this channel but let me get back to water in here and so like I said every time you know put your finger in there so 
on top just to hold that seed down. You don't want to put too much pressure. So we're going to go around every one of these. And what we're doing here, what this is doing is this is starting up our microbes and starting a germination process. So when you get your seed, your seed, you can't put too much water in there when you first plant it because it's got to germinate. And plus, you know, if you're starting them early like I am, you got to have the nice airflow into, you know, get in that soil. And that's the whole reason why I don't pack them down so that air can get in there to them. And then what that does is that uh, gives your uh, seed the air it needs and also gives your microbes the air they need, you know. They need air to grow or multiply. So uh, keep that in mind when you're, when you're bottom watering. And that's what I said, like, when I do this, this is the only time I'll this one here was just a little drier than the rest. But anytime I start this stuff, what we do is, like I said, I fill up the bottom of this tray, and as long as we keep water in it until they sprout, just pretty much like you know, uh, paper towel in it, you know, if you see on some videos. But we're just skipping that process, germinating. Because uh, really, you know, people germinate their seeds a lot. And I found out in the past, you know, after growing gardens outside, we never, outside, you know, when we had our gardens going, we never germinated, you know, we're just doing, this one looks like I didn't water it. But, uh, we just, uh, you know, Tilled up the old garden, throwed our chicken manure and our cow manure in there, you know, because we've got to clean our, our chicken coops out sometimes, so when we clean our chicken coops out and shovel them all out, that's what we do. We take all that chicken poop and we throw it in our garden and till it all in, and, uh, and you know, we throw cow manure in there too, but since we started moving to a we plant st some stuff in the dirt, like our potatoes and onions and carrots and stuff like that, you know, but the rest of the stuff, like our squash and zucchini and your tomatoes and peppers, we grow them in big old pots, you know, 55 gallon drums with, with about a three quarter inch holes put in them, put about 30 or 40 in the bottom of them, and then uh, make sure they're not a dark color. Because if you get a light color, and they're the plastic drums, you can cut them in half. That's what we do. We cut them in half, put holes on the bottom, and make sure they're, they're a light color. Because uh, if you get the darker colors, like black or any kind of like dark blue or the dark red ones they have, well, that dark color absorbs light from the heat or from the sun. So it heats up your pot. So if you get the white ones, it doesn't absorb the light, so your roots don't get hot, even if you got it sitting on top of the ground. So we're all done planting these straight neck squash. We got some crook neck squash, and we also got some other squash. I got a, I can't remember the name of it. I think it, it is uh, what we got here. Uh, it's called early white bush scallop squash, and they're kind of funky looking and white, and they look like a round uh, pumpkin. And we're going to try them this year. Last year we grew some white squash and it was called buttermilk squash. And man, they were delicious when you fried them up. And uh, let me go ahead and we'll get back set up right here. But like I said, man, uh, if you uh, grow your own and all that kind of stuff, that's less money you got to spend at the store. And we're all about, you know, spending less money at the store out here on the farm. So, like... Like I say, uh, you know, start your early stuff right now. You know, your early stuff you're going to plant. And your later stuff, you know, you can start later. Like like I was talking about the, the buttermilk squash. It's more of a fall plant. So we won't start none of that right now. We'll start some of that, you know, later. Maybe around, I don't know, March. Let's see, what is this? February, March, April. Probably around May. We'll start putting them in some solo cups and getting them going because they're a later season plant. And uh, 
like I said, you know, your, your okra, you know, you're going to plant them about an inch and a half to an inch deep. Your squash, the same, you know, about an inch deep. And on your tomatoes and your peppers, you know, plant them about a quarter inch deep. And uh, I'll get back with you with some more growing. And uh, we'll show the room all and show you how much we've got done so far. So uh, I'll be back here in just a second to show off. Hello everybody, we're back again, and this is what we've gotten done so far. We've got 14 in each one, like I said, we're going our, there's our California Bells, our Jalapenos, Poblanos, Arkansas Traveler Tomato, we got our Cabbage here, our Cherry Red Heirlooms, large heirloom broccoli we got some string beans going we got some squash like we showed earlier there's our straight neck squash what we planted we got some okra going over here we got some cucumbers and we got some arkansas trailers i had a whole bunch left over so we just put them in one of uh, one of them uh one gallon pods and we're just going to go through them as they come up. We'll pull them out and plant them in different cups. But, yeah, if I stand back, this is how much we've got done so far. But, like I said, if you like what we're doing on our grow channel, like and subscribe. And it's really cold here. It's 12 degrees outside, so. But it's 76 in here. And we're looking pretty good right now. And, as you can tell... We're running about, I don't know, 80%, 84% humidity. So, I get this room all filled up. We'll be running around the 90s. So, we'll be good to go. But, everybody have a good day. And peace out.